been working for more than five years together on different projects. But since last year, we dedicated uh, on working only on EduCare. Um, we come with backgrounds in IT and education institutions. We all work in education institutions, so we have experience in this field. Um, okay, let's imagine this. Uh, you are working hard at uh, your working place and you get home. This is for people with children. Um, and you see on your email or report of what the child did during that day. You see that he danced, he drove, and you can use this to start a discussion with your child so that you can learn more about what he did, if he enjoyed it, if he needs other things. Also, uh, we improve the communication between parents and schools because at least in Romania this is a huge problem. Uh, parents are working late, they don't have time to go to speak with the, the teachers to find out how the child progresses during the year. So we help them with this. We also create a, commu a community of teachers, parents, students and staff administration. So all of these have different accounts and they all see uh, relevant content for them. For example, a teacher can see grade that he has, en he has entered, can enter new grades and so on. Um, okay, we started this in Romania where we know the market. There are more than 300 and uh, three millions and a half of students enrolled in schools in Romania with more than five million parents. Also, there are more than 400,000 teachers uh, teaching them. Okay, um, in Romania there are different other solutions, but none of them have a great market share. So we are all starting. Um, also, our plans are to evolve to, from Romania to Eastern Europe, to Europe, and why not the whole world? Um, like I told you, in Romania there are se several solutions. All of them are beginners, like we are, with less than two years of experience. Uh, none of them has a big school number of, uh, as clients. Um, so, invest in us, because we want to be the, to grow the fastest. Uh, on an international level, there are solutions that have a lot of experience. Some of them started in 89, but they have a different approach. They have um, software that installs on computers, um, or they use their own server. Our approach is to use a web based um, solution so that anyone at any time can enter and see uh, the grades of, the, of their child from anywhere. Um, also a, dif a difficulty of them, for them, for the international competitors, is to understand the market. Romania is different than US or UK. So we are here, we started this, we understand it. Um, we have a better chance of convincing schools uh, on buying us. Okay, we need a minimum of ma amount of 80,000 euros uh, for the next <coughs> year, which will be used in um, developing the project uh, in a final version and also for marketing. Our uh, skills are on IT and developing the project, project so we need marketing. Uh, okay, let's say each parent will pay two and a half euros per month uh, to obtain access to the information about their child. This will mean if, um, on this calculation that we want to have at the end of this first year to have 10 private schools using our server, server uh, software, 10 public schools and 10 kindergartens, uh, those amounts. Also, after this one year, we want to be the 
biggest name on the market, the Romanian market. After the second year, we want to expand to Eastern Europe uh, and then more. Okay, thank you. Questions? Thank you, Valentin. Questions? How big is this market right now, Romania? Um, do you mean how many schools are using the software like How many schools are paying for this kind of software? Uh, we don't know that those numbers because none of the competition released any uh, figures of their business. But none, the market is at the, be the beginning. Uh, we have the biggest one of the biggest schools in Romania and the best schools in Romania are using our software already. So we have uh, early start on this. And what's your experience with that school? How diligent are the teachers in inputting the data? Because you need somebody to input the diligent data, right? Of course. Uh, the school that we uses our system now is a private school. So the teachers are kind of uh, forced, forced <laughs> to uh, enter the grades, the absences, and all the information. But they realize that this is in their own use also, in their own gain also. The, the videos on the slide, 80,000 euros uh, worth per, per school or for the 10 schools? Uh, for the 10 schools, okay. all of them. Uh, yes, on a figure of 220 students for a school, this is an average. Who's going to pay the school or the parents? Um, we try to make the school pay nothing so that they can, uh, they will be willingly, willing to enter the grades and all the information and we try to take that 2.5 euros per month from the, uh, the from the parents of the children learning them. Do you measure the traffic from the parent side in that school? I mean, how many times they access? We don't have the exact uh, figures, but there is traffic because we receive um, comments from the parents and uh, different other interactions <coughs> from them, so they are using it. Also, we, are, we receive the daily email with the report. Yes, I will go to answer this because I'm one of the parents that has a kid at that school. <laughs> so I'm getting those emails. The system works. So do you access the system? No. Every once in a while. <laughs> that was my question. How many times a year? I didn't know until yesterday that the system at that school was made by them. But usually, uh, even at the other school, I was accessing like five, six times a semester, something like that. And mothers are probably more diligent. Absolutely. Mothers are staying on. Is this a platform where I mean, teachers are communicating with parents? So uh, we uh, try to facilitate that. The, te the, the teacher can communicate with parents, uh, short notices, uh, announcements, and also for the, pa the parents to get in contact with the teachers faster and uh, more reliable. Uh, have you thought about uh, sharing the revenue you earn with the school? Because I know systems like this in the US, they do this and it's quite successful because practically you cut your uh, marketing costs a lot. The schools uh, have an incentive to sell the service because they also make money. We are thinking on that also. We, uh, the fi these figures don't include uh, this uh, way of doing it, but we have in thought of that also. So you have a hard time convincing someone at the school to enter all that information for free. You are right. <laughs> uh, are you currently did you sell this already? Are there schools which are actually uh, how many uh, are using uh, the system? Um, and another question is: uh, Is the business already generating some revenue, or is it just uh, a cost? 
This system is used in seven schools, private schools in Romania. Um, we don't currently generate any reven revenues out of them because they were beta testers and we had to use the expertise um, in producing the system. We didn't test yet if anyone is willing to pay for it yet. We have tested that and people are encouraging, encouraging us to keep on and because they will use the, the, the software. Would they pay for it, the parents? Uh, question. Yes. The final question from Alex. Uh, one question. Uh, when you talk about uh, the fact that parents and professors don't, don't use internet, you know, here in Romania, my parents or other parents are not such great users. If they don't use the internet, they don't have access to the data because this is a web based. Only the parents who will use the system will pay, not everyone. We can also send SMS alerts also. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll take one more, more question and then we'll uh, keep everything going. I think you have to take care of the privacy part of the relationship with the U.S. provider. Um, the, a parent can only see information about their child, not yeah. everyone else's. Okay, yes.